Hi, my name is Julia Piotta. I am a life coach and board certified health and wellness coach. And I help women to create healthier relationships with themselves so they can have healthier, fulfilling relationships with those around them and really just have more joy, more peace, and more expansion within their own personal lives. So today, I wanted to talk about really truly creating a healthy relationship with yourself and you know what that means. What does it mean you know if you were to work with me through coaching and start creating this healthy relationship with yourself. So when I think about what is it like to create a healthy relationship with myself, I'll just kind of give you some backstory. Um, I used to be this I would say very negative and a very negative person and someone that worried that worried and tried to control her her situations and life and she felt extremely powerless like so powerless and this is where you'll hear me talk about in my videos being a victim you know to your circumstances being a victim to the other people in your life and I was very much a victim but I didn't know any better and that's totally okay because we don't know this stuff. I want to expect you to know this because I had no idea about this. I wasn't out there, you know, like studying these types of things back then, reading books, listening, you know, to podcasts, uh, YouTube videos, documentaries, whatever, all kinds of stuff. You know, I didn't go to school either. Like I had not gone to college until late in life. So I had no idea. I would just sit and bitch and complain to my friends about all the shit that was going wrong in my life and in my dating experiences. And, you know, it was up until this one guy, really, he was my fuel that just propelled me forward to be like, all right, fuck this. I'm over it. Like, I'm done with these stupid dating experiences, you know, attracting the same type of guy. I'm going to figure out my patterns and I'm going to create this new life for myself. And it was either 2012 or 2013 that I started beginning this journey. So as you can see, it's been like a nine year journey so far. I will tell you healing, you know, developing a new self, creating a healthier relationship with yourself. It's a forever journey. It's just you get to keep like up leveling as you go, as you learn more about yourself, you get to to shed these old layers it's like the onion peeling those outer layers of the onion and you know you get you keep getting closer and closer to the middle um, I look at this as when you create a healthy relationship with yourself you start experiencing more peace more joy more happiness better relationships with the people around you better health so much things change it's like the stress is melting away you know, your finances are improving. You're eating healthier food. Your mind is calming down. You're just, your mood has improved. You're feeling better. And this doesn't happen overnight. If you came in right now and you were like, Julia, I want to do this. I want to work with you one-on-one -on -one and create this healthier relationship with yourself. My first piece of advice to you would be, be patient and compassionate with yourself very patient, very compassionate, be open-minded and willing to learn a new way because this is uncomfortable to us since we've never learned how to, you know, work with our body, our mind, and our soul in this way. So that would be my advice. This creating a healthier relationship with yourself is the, the mind, body, and soul is what we're we're working on. So when you think about it, it's like your mind. Okay, well, your thoughts. You know, my mind used to be going like 10,000 miles an hour. I would have ruminating thoughts and all kinds of things. Couldn't sleep, had anxiety. Um, and then when we think about like the body, I know for a while I had been carrying around like a little bit of excess weight. Nothing crazy. Let's just say like an extra 10 pounds or whatever. Um, I, I like to go out and party like every single weekend and didn't have like, I guess I was always a healthier, a healthy 
eater, like because I love like health and fitness. Um, but I look at my eating habits and how they had been and they just, they just keep improving. They just keep getting better and better and better. Um, but I've, I've changed, you know, the way I eat. I had started going to the gym like consistently. I remember buying a gym membership when I was about 18 years old and I was totally gung ho on doing it. Like I really wanted to do it. But at the same time, I, I battled like the being shy and, you know, not confident enough to go to the gym alone. And these were so, these were just so many things that shifted in my life as I started learning how to create a healthier relationship with myself. So then if we think about the soul part of things, for me, it was really like getting to this place of, okay, I'll give you this, this story. So when I started on this journey of self-development, you know, learning to heal the past and to really step into this new version of myself, reprogramming my mind, like creating this new identity, I kept getting this thing inside me that was like, I want to go back to church. Like I grew up Catholic and it was whatever, you know, I, I had 12 years of it going from like grade school through high school and like throughout my twenties, well, since I graduated high school, like church was like nothing. It was obsolete. It was not a part of my life, maybe for weddings and funerals, but it wasn't something that I went and did. But when I started this journey of this personal development, I started wanting to go to church but I was like you know I, I don't want to go back to the church like where I was at I'm, I'm like I actually want to find a place where I can go and understand the message and just apply it to my everyday life so when I look at this from this soul aspect like I want to describe this to you as the more that we get to know ourselves and what's going on we like truly get more connected to like however you want to however you want to reference this depending on your beliefs it could be like getting more heart centered or more connected to your intuition or the holy spirit or source or your higher self whatever it is that you believe in maybe you don't believe at all but i will tell you when we start building this healthier relationship with ourselves it's like we're bringing ourselves back inside ourselves because right now like in this day to day busy world that we live in I feel like so many people are very like disconnected from themselves they're so so focused on the external creating joy and happiness within them and you know relying on other people to create that within them to create that peace or that comfort or the love whatever it is that they're looking for so to me this has really brought me back to myself and I truly enjoy my time with myself like so much i love the peace and the quiet and the reflection and i know that that's not going to resonate with everyone but it's almost like you were lost you know think about it like this you were lost you didn't you didn't know where the hell you were going you you got lost let's say you were a little kid we're just going to run this analogy pretend you're a little kid and you you got lost you didn't know how to get back home and you're wandering the streets and you're like, oh my God, like I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Like I feel stressed out. How do I get back home? And it's like you're relying on this outside world and maybe, you know, you're asking people for directions to bring you back home and guide and direct you. And this, I feel like, is just the perfect example of everyday life. We're seeking other people's advice and opinions and you know, trying to find these external factors to create happiness and joy within ourselves. But that's not it. It's not it at all. This work, it brings you back to yourself. So then you know how to take care of yourself. You know how to create the peace, the joy. And when you have that peace, that joy, the expansiveness of being able to evolve as a person, that then spills over into the people around you you will start to see them change. I see so many of my friends that are changing and, you know, just evolving as individuals, whether, you know, they've they've ended relationships and now are expanding into this, this new version of themselves or, you know, they've 
they've uh, changed their belief systems about what their worth is and their value and they got promotions or a raise at their current job. These are just like super small things, but I've noticed like my relationships have changed drastically, like where I can be more open, I've got deeper connections with the people in my life. Um, I've said goodbye to the relationships that aren't serving me, you know, that don't resonate. We're, we're definitely not on the same page. But that's what I would describe this as. Like when you are creating a healthier relationship with yourself, these are just some of that the pieces that are part of it. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. Um, if you're interested in scheduling a free discovery call with me to learn about working with me one-on-one, -on -one, there is a link in the description section. We'll jump on a call together, talk about what your vision and your goals are, what's currently holding you back, and you'll just get this experience of getting a taste of what coaching is like, and we can determine from there if coaching would be the right next step for you. I hope you have a wonderful day today. And hey, if you're seeing me from my YouTube channel, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And I thank you for doing that. I appreciate it so much. Have a great day.